What's up guys, welcome to a new Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can save export settings inside of Final Cut Pro. So let's not lose any time and jump right into Final Cut. Okay, so normally when you want to export something inside of Final Cut Pro, you go up here to File, Share, and then you have your export settings, the standard ones, DVD, export file, Apple devices, YouTube and Facebook. And then as you can see, these are my current custom export settings, but we're gonna change that and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go out of this window and then you have to click up here to this little symbol. Once you're on here, you can go to add destination. And once you're here at add destination, it's a little bit confusing, but as you might notice, these are the same export settings as we have here, up here, when we go to file and share, and then we have all of these options. So let's start by deleting my two export settings. You can just do that by clicking on them and then pressing the backwards key on your keyboard. I'm also gonna do that for export thumbnail. And then we go to add destination to add our first custom destination. We're gonna do one with export file. You have to double click on it and then it appears right here. Then you can do all your export settings I'm gonna do mastering video and audio and then go to H264, which is your standard export setting, but not the best one for YouTube. If you wanna know what's the best export setting for YouTube, just click on this video right here. I showed you that in last week's video. So now if we double click on export file one, we can also rename it to H264 export or something like that. Hit enter and then we have saved our first custom setting. I'm gonna do one more, click on add destination and then go to save current frame. Click on export and select JPEG image and now we can rename that one to thumbnail export. And now once we've done that, we can just close up that window, go up to file and share. And as you guessed it, we now have these custom export settings, one for the H.264 export setting and one for our thumbnails. And that's how you save your export settings inside of Final Cut Pro. I really hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Also consider subscribing by clicking right here. You can watch more Final Cut Pro videos right here in the playlist. You can watch last week's video with the best export settings for YouTube right here. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.